okay thanks for being here guys uh if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do uh i'm just reposting this because the audio before was really crappy so this is the unboxing part of the video motor comes with the case okay the first feature would be it's connectable you can connect it to a tab using a bluetooth dongle however take note the bluetooth not all bluetooth dongles work so check the forums for that also you can connect it to a pc or mac via a usb cable and from there you can use it as a web client web server and you're the client and with the ip address using a browser just type in the ip address and you will see the your digital pedal board so also take note bluetooth ip address on the google chrome or your browser is different from if you plug it into a pc or mac so they have different ip addresses so that's one feature it, it can be connected to a tab another feature would be that the connections on the the knobs and foot switch foot switches on the uh, more dwarf are assignable so you can switch on effects stuff like that you can control you can send midi stuff you can also uh, turn on and off effects change scenes um, like this for example so I'm turning on and off the compressor and you can also if you for example you have a midi controller you can connect that via a the usb or its midi uh input and out midi in and out so this for example i'm i have a customized um foot switch a dyi so i assign the midi to turn and off the clone clone this is an example that's a third feature of the motor. So as I've said before, the uh, Modorf has scenes or snapshots that you can turn, um, that is actually, you can have a lot of snapshots wherein specific gain levels, uh, EQs are set. So that's another sweet feature for the Mod Dwarf. It can, uh, you can also connect a chocolate, um, Imva with chocolate. To, con to control those snapshots and it also actually sends MIDI through so in this example the tonics I was turning on and off the tonics I mean switching patches on the tonics here I just changed snap snapshots including the tonics okay another feature would be Mindy, this is a plugin inside the uh, virtual pedal board. You can actually send MIDI via this uh, plugin, which can be controlled using snapshots, which is cool. Um, in the virtual pedal board, you can actually connect. You can go wild on connecting stuff so for example you put a pedal in between the amp and cab um, so in the physical world that's impossible because of the voltage right another feature would be parallel processing so if ever you're into wet dry wet stuff wherein you pan the delay right and left i mean sorry if you mix delay and reverb they are processed parallel and then you mix them in a mixer um, this is also achievable in the mod dwarf so here the delay and reverbs are mixed in a mixer so both of them are stereo so i pan them the output left and right so that is parallel processing Another cool trick here is there's a phase inverter 
inside the mod dwarf so for example you want a signal to be face inverted you can do that however this plugin is still in beta another great feature is that the mod dwarf has convolution reverbs which is a high intensive uh, high cpu intensive uh, thing to do convolution reverb so these are free stuff here i'm browsing and um this is cool features not all pedals do this because of the cpu it's cpu hungry um so typical there's a looper inside the mod dwarf also a looperative looper feature 11 the input and output specs which is great you have two inputs and two outputs so there are led clipping markers whenever if ever you are clipping from the input side and the output side and the outputs uh, are balanced so you can get it str straight to front of house cool thing here is if you've seen some of my videos i'm playing some uh, waves bird sounds from this plugin also you can mix that in your uh, music and synthesizers are as well um are available in the mod dwarf Another feature of the Mod Dwarf is it has IDEX. It's an AI capturing tool you, you put in your computer and also put on the Mod Dwarf so it loads uh, those captures. Um, also, it has the NAM. Uh, it has a NAM plugin. However, they only use nano captures uh, of the NAM. So considering quad cortex, the nano cortex, tonex, and the num player, I think this is a very advantage, a very good advantage on the mod dwarf because it's almost like a computer, a full-on computer wherein you can capture pedals, amps, stuff like that. Plus, it's in a pedal form. Plus, um. There's a lot of good reverbs, a lot of delays. The signal path is incredible. It's, you're not limited to routing. For example, the head rush pedal board, wherein there are sets of um, signal routing templates, right? Also, um, on top of that, the convolution reverbs, a lot of reverbs there, um, delays parallel processing and stuff like that wet dry wet plus the output is unbalanced so that's really good and the only limit you have is the dsp right so there is a trick actually it's called uh, the portal plugin so it basically chops up your signal path and puts i think in my understanding it puts it in another core for example um, you put a portal um, before your wet effects so it processes those stuff ahead of time that's why the latency and the CPU um, is not overburdened it's like in for example in your CPU in your computer it's like uh, it's comparable to um, multi-thread multi-core stuff like that right like it processes it in a different um thread so it doesn't have to wait for the dry effects for example dry effects to finish compute uh, computing or calculating it uh in advance um puts it in another thread and calculates the reverb delay whatever you put in there so the portal plugin is really useful in um putting a lot of weight off your cpu in the mod dwarf so that's another cool feature um not entirely the, this video is not entirely um it's not complete there's a lot of synths you can even play piano in there i have a video of that 
um you can play drums trigger drums um some weird stuff like uh synths um stuff like that and plus the cv control uh which uh, a lot of synth people use so that's another thing um i'm surprised that the mod dwarf is not included in most of our reviews right now like in leo gibson's reviews however if you put it in uh in terms of money actually the mod dwarf is a really good um challenger to nano cortex to kemper player to tonex as it can provide a lot of functionality like hardware capturing um ai nam player stuff like that a very good amp sims good reverbs and good delays uh unlimited possibilities on routing signal routing so i think though it is uh right now <clears throat> Mod Audio has not like uh, updated a lot of their uh, stuff, right? But it's very still very good and useful. Um, it's worth buying. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. Thanks for watching.